For these examples, we're going to work with three different types of applications. One, we're going to do a Pythagorean theorem. Another one, we're going to use area of a rectangle. And another one, we're going to use proportions using similar triangles. So the first question says, a rectangular garden is 12 feet long. If you walk diagonally across the garden, you will have you would walk 15 feet. How many feet wide is a garden? So you want to say I have a rectangular garden, right? And then it says I walk diagonally across the garden 15 feet. Oops. 15 feet. Okay? And then it says that the rectangular garden is 12 feet long. So it's 12 feet. And then I need to know how wide is it. So I don't know this guy. Right? So we're going to use Pythagorean theorem. The formula for Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay? So I have a, let's write it with different colors. This is my A, B, and C. So what I don't know is A. So X squared plus 12 squared equals 15 squared. So then right over here, I have X squared plus, I do believe 12 times 12 is 144. And then 15 times 15, I think it's 225. Let's double check that. You need to, let's double check this by hand. Why would I want to use a calculator? When we're not allowed to use calculators in this class, right? So I'm gonna write over here, 15 times 15. And this is what you will have to do. Five times five, I have 25, take two. Five times one is five, plus two, seven. One times five is five, one times one is one. I add. Gives me 12, take 1, 2, 225. Yay, we did it correctly. Okay, then we're going to subtract in order to solve for the x squared. Give me x squared equals, gives me 1, borrow 12, um, 8, so 81. Okay? And then your gold, what you want is x. You don't want x squared. So how do you get rid of that x squared? You're going to do the opposite of the square, which is squared root. You're going to square root this. You're going to square root that guy. This and this cancels, leaving you with x. Square root of 81 is 9. Okay? So your width is 9 feet. Okay? And the second application talks about area. And it says, a rectangle is drawn so that the width is four feet shorter than the length. The area of the rectangle is 21 square feet. Find the length of the rectangle. So I'm gonna put my line here so you don't get confused. And then I'm using area. So my formula for area is the length times the width. So I need to know something about the A, the L, and the width. And now I'm working with a rectangle, right? Then it says that the, is drawn that the width is four feet shorter than the length, and that the total area is 21 feet. So 21 feet for area. Now, um, do we know anything about the length? Mm, no. No, it doesn't say anything about the length. Let's read it again to double check. A rectangle is drawn so that the width is four feet shorter than the length. The area of the rectangle is 21 square feet. Find the length of the rectangle. So no, they didn't give us no information about the length. So we don't know. They did say that the width is four feet shorter than the length. So four x minus 4. Now, um, I don't think we need 
this square here. You know we're working with a square. Keep that in mind. Sometimes it's good to do the drawing that way you can see it. Okay, so now we're going to take this information and plug it into our formula. So A is 21. My length is, I don't know. And my width is X minus 4. I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and multiply. So I get 21 equals X squared minus 4X. Now, I do want to solve for X. So I do want it to say equal to 0. So I'm going to minus 21 on both sides. So I'm going to have 0 equals X squared minus 4X minus 21. So now, does this look like something that we have worked with before? Yes, this is a trinomial. So it has no GCF and it has three terms, three terms, and you're going to factor by the AC method, which is grouping. So once you have done that, your final answer, which by this time we should be able to do it to find our final answer going to be 7 and 3, okay, equal to 0. So from here to here, make sure you see this. From here to here, I skipped a few steps, which you should know by now from a given trinomial, how to use the AC method and arrive to here. Once I'm here, I'm going to solve for x, and my, oh, running out of space, and my Two values for x is going to be 7 and negative 3. So you have two answers. And you're like, wait a minute, but I'm only looking for 1x. Well, we are dealing with length, right? And would it make sense to say the length is negative 3 feet? No. So cancel. This is my answer. Okay? x the length equals to 7. Now, once you have found this, I want you to go back and read the question and double check that they are asking for this. Sometimes they do ask for the width. If we were to be asking for the width, they would, you would take this 7, put it right here, and say the width is 3. Okay, 3 times 7 does give you the 21. Okay? <clears throat> Let's see if we can do the third one over here. <clears throat> Proportions, proportions, proportions. Okay, so the next question it says, if Chelsea walks two miles in 80 minutes, two miles in 80 minutes, okay, then how far will Chelsea walk in 20 minutes? I'm sorry, in 120 minutes. 120 minutes. So what are we looking for? Miles. Well, we're simply going to cross multiply. And it gives me 240. 240 miles equals 80x. We're going to the Bible side by 80. x equals... 30. So, in 30 miles, she can walk 120, in 120 minutes, let's say it correctly, in 120 minutes, she can walk 30 miles. Okay? And this is the answer for this application. This right here is the answer for this one. And this over here is the answer for that one.